Hello my dear students, welcome to Apple ICT Panthia YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss grade 8 ICT lesson 4 programming. This is the second video for this lesson. Previously I have uploaded one video. In that video I discuss with you what's programming, how to analyze a problem, decompose a problem and how to identify input process and output then we discuss your workbook activity 4.1 so in that video we discuss this lesson this programming is not a new topic for you because when we were in grade 6 we learned algorithms and flowchart algorithms and flowcharts are the basics of the programming then, when you were in grade 7, you learned about flow, again flowcharts, then control structures, and scratch programming software. Mainly, in grade, se uh, in grade 7, you focused about con uh, sequence control structure. Now, you are in grade 8 students. Then, in these lessons, we mainly focus about selection control structure so in today lesson we are going to learn about control structures so before moving to today's video please subscribe my channel and also share these videos with your friends control structures simply there are three control structures based on the direction of the data flow a control structure is a block in a program that analyzes variables and choose a direction of flow of the diagram, flow of the program. A control structure is a block in a program that analyzes variables and chooses a direction of flow of a program. So based on the direction of the data flow, Three control structures can be identified. Sequence, selection, repetition. Sequence, selection, repetition. So, let's learn about sequence first. Steps are carried out one after other from the beginning to end in a particular consecutive order. Steps are carried out one after other. From the beginning to end in a particular consecutive order. So, that's the order. Consecutive order. And we have to solve the problem step by step from beginning to end. Here, the data flow, the direction of data flow always flow from top to bottom. Stop to bottom. Right? Let's identify a problem that we use the sequence control structure right the problem is identify the it means find the cost of purchasing five pens okay now you go to a shop to purchase pens right you need to buy five pens then in that problem what we have to do first first we have to identify input process output so, what are the inputs we need? We already know how many pens we need to buy. Yes, we need 5 pens. Then, we need the cost for a 1 pen. It means price of a 1 pen. That's the one input we need. Price of a 1 pen. Then, process. The process is we have to calculate the price of Five pens. How to calculate the total value, total amount we need to purchase five pens? It's very easy. We know the cost of one pen. Then we have to multiply by multiply that value by five. Total equal price of a pen multiply by five. Then 
our output is the total amount we need to purchase in total value we need to purchase the pens right as a first step we identified the input process and output then based on these input process and output then we have to design the flowchart right we need to start then we have to include the input within the rhombus shape input the price of a pen we know rhombus shape is used to represent inputs and outputs then process we use rectangle shape to represent the process process is total equal price of a pen multiplied by 5 then we have the output what's the output the total amount then our uh, problem solved then we have to end the process this is the flowchart then by using the flowchart we have to develop the program so in grade 7 you start you learned about scratch programming software so it's very uh, easy and very simple programming software so as you are now in grade 8 in this year also we use the scratch programming software to develop these programs let's develop this program here we have to take the input from the user so when we get the input from user we have to store that value in a variable so why we use a variable we use variable to store some value so if you don't know about variables please go to uh, my grade 7 lesson video series then you can have a good understand about variables here we need two variables why we need two variables one variable is to store the price of a pen then another variable to store the total value so always the total value depend on the price of a pen then these two values are change at every execution right here you can see the program now we are going to develop this program using scratch programming software right let's develop our program so let's start the program by using an event next here I use the default sprite next to develop this program we need two variables let's make these two variables make a variable first one price of a pen I need another variable total value I need another variable total value and for this sprite only right now I am going to take the input from the user to do that use the sensing block use the ask option enter the value of a pen value of a pen and what is let's use in this say what is price of a pen right now user gives a value then we are going to store that value in a variable so go to variable then set take the set option take my variable me here i am using a price of a pen to my answer i want to take the answer from the user and set it into price of a pen variable 
right now we finish the first part of the program it mean we are in the input the price of a pen stage next now we have to do the processing we have to calculate the total price it mean the amount we need to purchase five pens right so how to do that we are going to take the uh, set my variable option set i want to set my variable to total value how to calculate the total value go to a uh, go to operators here we want to multiply the answer by 5 take this operator then go to the variable price of a pen okay let's take price of a pen multiply by 5 right now we have the total value then what we have to do we have to display the total value to display something we use the looks so say what we have to say we have to say the uh, the total value to purchase five pens so we have to include the text and also the variable name so we can use a join operator too here yeah, let's use this one ah. so price okay amount needs to purchase things equal what's the variable total value right this is the program right let's execute the program right what's the price of a pen let's include a price of a pen as 10 put the value and click the correct mark then amount need to purchase five pens 50 let's play it again what's the price of a pen let's give four then amount need to purchase pens 20 Okay, in this video, we discuss about sequence control structure. In the next video, in the third video, we will discuss about selection control structure and we can design some programs using selection control structure. So, if this video is useful for you, please put a comment below and share the video with your friends. Let's meet again with a new video.